Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Modsville USA, back with another video, and we are going to do a quick one here, just showing off the new Repackinator by Team Resurgent for the original Xbox. Now, what is this? It is essentially a very uh, streamlined, easy way for converting Redump original Xbox ISOs to the X ISO format so you can go ahead and play them on your modded OG Xbox. Now, I went over how to do this for um, in my Surbios uh, video. Make sure to check that out if you hadn't. And it was much more convoluted running uh, bat files and then taking the split up files over to the like original Xbox, going into XPMC for gamers, running the built-in script. Um, now it's uh, much more streamlined, it seems. Nice GUI, GUI, to be able to bust it out. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna check this out. I haven't, uh, I'm going in blind, and we're gonna see what's up. So, going to the latest release tab here, I am on Windows. Okay. I am just now realizing that there are two different releases within here. A uh, regular Repackinator, and then the Re Repackinator UI. So, I grabbed the uh, original one. We'll go ahead and grab the UI version here. Extract it. Okay. Now let's run the repackinator UI.exe. Hey, look at that. So it looks like it's got the full set in here. All right, so I'm going to set an input folder here. The Xbox. I'm going to set the same for my output folder. And here is my Xbox folder. I've got four ISOs. And there's zip files. I'll get rid of those. Let's see. Okay, so I just hit processed or process, and uh, looks like it's going to process all four ISOs. Very nice. So we'll see what happens once this is done. Okay, so it took nine minutes fifty-five seconds to process these four redump ISOs. And now, as you can see in my Xbox folder. We've got the original ISOs here, and we've also got these new folders, default XBE, default TBN, and we've got these split ISO files here. Um, the native format of the Xbox drive, much like FAT32, it's only able to um, have a max file size of, what is it, four? around four gigabytes so it splits the file up and then we've got the default XBE linking everything so now it's just a matter of transferring these files over to our games folder on our original Xbox now I'm gonna do that with Fat Explorer an external USB um, HDD SATA the USB HDD dock and uh, yeah let's do that well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I have mounted my master hard drive here using the latest Fat Explorer beta. Uh, I mounted the F drive here where I've got my games, emulators, all of that. Coming in here, I'm going to drag these folders over, the ISOs. Those are not coming over. Those are the original redump ISOs. I'm going to drag these four folders 
and I'm deleting the original ones which were the extracted versions there and uh, yeah I, I had issues with these I don't know if it's a transfer issue or what but uh, since I'm replacing them I'm just gonna go with the proper ISOs because uh, uh, you know why not um, now this is a Serbios build as I already mentioned but if you're doing this for say Titan patch or a different uh, type of build I recommend checking out this reddit thread here using NK patcher uh, you can essentially set up some files on your hard drive to have um, to have it work to have uh, ISOs work in something like M8 like Evo X or uh, other alternative BIOSes if you're on Titan patch for instance um, it's not going to natively work. You need to you need to do a bit more configuring here. So I'll leave a link to this in the description. Very useful thread. I set it up uh, on my Titan patch, uh, like master drive. It's pretty simple stuff. Just drag a couple files over, and you're good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and wait for these files to finish copying over and deleting and once that's done we'll plug this into the xbox and we'll make sure these games are booting well alright as you can see here I have my hard drive hooked back up to my original xbox uh, booted into xbmc for gamers and I already went ahead and uh, ran the artwork installer before filming this the discs were there we're booting up Tony Hawk Thug Underground 1 and it's working like a damn charm no complaints here and uh yeah let's just uh we got my pimp dude just gonna shred a little bit now I know I did this for uh use on original hardware but from what I understand, if you are into Xbox emulation, uh, run an emulator on your PC, Steam Deck, whatever, um, XMU uses the same format here, where you need to convert the ISOs, so yeah, this will work for original hardware, emulators, uh, whatever, if you end up with the redump ISOs. You're going to need to uh, convert them like this, and this is by far the best way to do it. Um, yeah, it was a pain in the ass before, and now it's not bad at all. So anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you like it, and uh, yeah, smell you later.